Hello and welcome to this random working video. This is another nanoblock um, video and this time we're going to be doing Charizard. Um, I got this nanoblock uh, model when I bought Pokemon Snap. Uh, I've previously done Big Ben from nanoblocks which is part of the sights to see. Um, I think this is just a hobby one. Oh. Uh, just a hobby one. Um, the Big Ben was a level 2, which is a 5, and this one's a level 3 of 5, so this is going to be a bit more difficult. It's possibly because there's a lot more floating sections. Um, or, or maybe it's because there's a lot more levels. So that's what we're going to be doing today. The instructions are a bit more um, leveled, I guess, which could be because of the complication. It didn't have this block breakdown before. Um, it could be that the Charizard is a newer model, which means that these instructions have been updated to give it an easier, uh, to give people an easier time. So it does say no, it actually says use nanoblock tweezers and a nanoblock pod. Pad. An easy way to assemble. I assume a nanoblock pad is the... So in the Big Ben, you had the big square of water. I assume that's what a nanoblock pod is. And there are going to be extra blocks included. There is some more... Things on this. We will get to them when we come to it. Let's start with block one. I uh, still try and have a version of this up on the screen. Let's let's open all these blocks and put our suitable holster. Try and keep these somewhat separate, but it doesn't really matter. Um, unlike the the Big Ben one, it doesn't actually have an example of the block inside. Um, so you can see how tiny these blocks are, um, and it's not just a distance from the camera. Um, show you once I get them all out what I mean by that. Um, I might have to move this. A bit later, just so I can see things. I didn't quite cut them right. I haven't learnt my lesson from last time yet um, because I haven't still using the same box, which means I've still got to be careful of uh, dropping everything all over the place. Right, that's all I'm up So I have a Lego brick. Um, example here, it's a one flat one, and then if we get a flat one, or what is equivalent to a flat one, we can see the size difference, so that's a flat one from a nano right next to a flat one from a Lego. It's about a quarter of the size, so this is really finicky to um, mess with. Um, more so, we uh, have to be doing some tiny bits. So, we're first going to be making what I assume is the chest. So this is a 4x4 four four, and then it goes down in sizes. And again, it starts at the top of the colour, so it needs 3x2s. Three, three four or 4x1s. Probably won't bring all of these out. Uh, when it gets to smaller ones, but for now, do that two, two by threes, two three by ones, three by ones, that corner, two corners, it's a full corner, this one. Here, four doubles, which is this corner. Four of 
these. Three threes. And one two. Probably have a different tray for this selection, but anyway, let's see. We want to do It's got a, the diagram on a slight angle. I'm going to try and straighten it slightly. Um, yeah, I'm going to I don't know why they can't just make the blocks the right size. So by you know by three by three rather than having to use a three by two and a three by one it makes it a bit more. It would make it a bit more stable, I guess. So this is the very bottom of this is this part of the one and then I'm gonna build on top of it, trying to do the one so it overlap first. A bit more structure. So that's a mess, but approximately the right size. So now I go up one, so one of these sideways, I join these. Three Two again. Why don't we do a five by one? You know, that would make more sense. Sorry, that's supposed to be there. That's supposed to be in that. Guy. No. These are supposed to be either side. The corners. We can't sure do that. Yeah, so back. Let's look at this. Right. Four and two with the coronary on top. This on here. This two on the coronary. Can I not get three of these out? One of these to bridge. One of these here. Over the top of this one. Like that. Then a. Uh, Three sideways and put this long one back down here. And there's two back here as well. Okay. Actually still enough for me to do this, so this one sideways. Um I do not appear to have picked up as many as I need at times. So on this side... I 
I've used the wrong size blocks. There shouldn't be a gap here. This should be three by three. I think one, two, three. Yeah. Like that. I think I preferred the top-down approach in all honesty. So this is a three. And this should have a two on it. And a triangle, the uh, a corner. <laughs> so we got a three by two and a two and a four and a three and a four and a three and a four and a three. And a three. Then we have four. A three, three, two, two a corner, two a corner, three, three this, and then we should have a floating, we should have floating one of these. This top layer should be overhanging. That's why it's done the arrows. So it's saying this can't, this can't, but these ones go through there. So this front white. So this middle bit here that I've put together needs to be shifted back one. So that this floating one can sit on them. I know these sides are right. And I know this free this is supposed to be in the middle. So this is supposed to be and this is supposed to be Right, the bottom of this is definitely supposed to be in the middle. Okay. Move this. So this definitely has just one, uh, just two both in the out, and these in the middle. But this is supposed to go on the end of here. Of the two and the three on the second bit. Then and this gap here is supposed to have a four, a four here, and then three sides, threes. No, oh, that's a four. That's a four. Freeze like that. But the overlap at the front and the overlap at the back. So this I just I don't think it's to scale. Um, I could be wrong. I think that's a zoomed in picture. Because this part here, this is supposed to be this belly bit here where it has a step up. I think Now we've got to do the top half of this. So we've got two, there's two of these two. And this three, 
Go to the arrows, go straight on the front of this, right? Here. These two, the gap of one in the middle, go here. Then you've got one of the frees here. One of the fours. Yeah, and the same on the other side. Or the three. Then at the back, you've got. Because I messed that up, I had extra pieces out. So this should be two overlap. Okay, so that's. That was a lot of work, and that was just step one. Uh, I forgot to get a piece of paper this time. Um, keeper. Might be because I'm shaking too much. I don't have very soft. I don't have very unshaky hands. Well, it's not quite much. As long as I'm not showing too much. Mess. So now we get to step two, which basically does more layers on top. Try and get the right number of things out of this step. So we want a four by two. Four times. We want a one by four. One turn, we want three, two by threes, we want this T piece, we want five two by two squares, an L piece, which is down here, three squares. One of these, one in this colour. And how many? A three. Then do we need a, a four twos? Okay. So on top of this piece, we want this. We're doing the belly, so we want this sideways. Then a two, two. We want the three bit straight on the front of this one. The two and a two right behind it. Two and a two. That's the white colours done. Now for the most slightly awkward reds. So I need two reds, uh, squares in line with those two. Then a square, two, three, one. Then a long and a long one on the tail. With two of these points. Oops. Now, so these two bits are going to be hanging slightly from the next level. With these fours, all hanging. Um. Yep, yeah, like that. 
Yes, this. These little bits of his hands. Um, which I might. Yeah, these little bits of his hands, which. If you look at the drawing, is there. So he's much tinier. Let's try and angle him right. Like about that, like. Doesn't help. I've got a light right in front of it. So we're actually not doing too bad. I think it's the wings when we get to them and the flamey tail that's going to be the problem. To be here just to get that big bend in that box without, um, without <laughs> breaking every single tree at least twice. Um, where was I? So this corner piece goes back here. With this long bit over the back, and this gap filled by this one, Boop. and then the T goes here. How have I managed to get the wrong number of pieces again? Probably haven't been counting. Right, this is a six, which is supposed to go on his tail slightly off set. So this middle bit is supposed to sit on the cor very corner. This middle circle is supposed to be sitting on this corner one, which is what it's doing. It's slightly off. And then I've got a piece. I haven't got any idea why I've got it. Maybe I got four of them out. One, two, right. Right, so that's part two done. This little note here is just saying how, whereas before it was each layer was a different colour blue, this time it's just saying faded colours in the previous section. It's just taking the end result here. The end result of all these isn't faded, it'll put it at the bottom. So now we're just moving up one more level. So let's see, we want three times four twos. Uh, three by twos. Three times three T pieces. One, two. Three, two, three pieces. One, two, one square. Two corners, two two pieces, and one of these. Three, three, two, one, two, two, one. Okay, I've counted them this time and I should have the right amount. So this just continues the belly. And then we got. A bit of construction. So on the tail, there's a free on the back end with a square. Telling to make sure that the ridge is the right way. Possibly so you can turn it, or does it want it to be. Oh, yeah, because if you put it that way, it'll slide. So, yeah, it wants the bit there. I have a feeling it might not go on the other way. Let's try. No, it does. It just slides, I guess. But it wants it back there. Whoops. There we go. So what I'm talking about is this stuff here, which is the directional ridge, which is the ridges that you see in the middle of the blocks. Uh, which is why it can slide around, if you're not careful. So, 
Let's see, that's the little bit on the tip. Let's see. Uh, a three and a two. All right. So these. Two here. Very symmetrical at the moment, which is helpful. And two. And a T at the back. This goes here, here, and this here. Here on the back, and then just the three on here yeah, with the two on the back. That's a spine. It's a teeny tiny Charizard, which in comparison to the box model picture. And that is step three. Yep, so now I turn the body over for step four because we're doing the feet. Which is two by two two by three two corners. Two two by twos. Uh, two by ones, sorry. Two squares. And then two T's. So from here, do that square. Uh, I just broke his hand off. On both sides. With a two next to it. Then. That with the T and a square to finish off the foot. And same on the other side. Oop. T. Now, one problem I can see potentially happening is I can potentially see him going very back or front heavy depending on. Um, the size of the frame and stuff. So he's already back heavy. I mean, he hasn't even got a head or a tail on. Not properly, anyway. Or his wings. And those feet would go to fall off if you, if you accidentally push on him. But that's step four. That was actually quite a quick step. Right, now we are doing the wings. Thanks for watching this random workings video. If you like what you saw and want some more, please hit the like button, maybe subscribe, and then check out the videos and playlists that have popped up on screen. Either way, it's bye for now, and I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day.